New information tonight on the fatal shooting of an attorney riding in an Uber with his mother. Police now believe it was just a case of mistaken identity. Tonight, community members gathered near Penn Presbyterian Hospital to remember John Lalo. The government attorney was visiting Philly from the Philippines with family when he was shot and killed. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute has the latest on this investigation. We're told the Philippines Consulate General is expected to meet with local officials soon. In the meantime, area leaders said they are grieving with the victim's family. I'm lost of words. Before he left, he made sure we had fun. Surrounded by members of the Filipino community, Chris Rivera read a Facebook post from Leah Bustamante Lalo, the mother who lost her son when a vacation in the city of brotherly love ended with gunfire. We traveled together, and we are supposed to go home together. I will bring him home soon in a box. Leah's son, John Albert Lalo, also known as Jal, was killed when a gunman opened fire on their Uber early Saturday morning as they were headed to Philadelphia International. The 35 year old government lawyer from the Philippines was shot in the head and pronounced dead the next day. We light these candles for the surviving family of John to represent the peace and justice they seek. At a vigil Monday, people who say they didn't know John personally came to show a united front. They say the victim, whose clients include the vice president of the Philippines and two senators, had big hopes and dreams. This is hard because they're not even from here. Philadelphia police initially said it was a random road rage shooting. Monday evening, they announced it was in fact targeted, but a case of mistaken identity. Investigators say surveillance video shows the gunman was in a black Cadillac next to another Nissan before firing as many as 15 shots in the wrong vehicle. The most important thing right now is the family's grief um, and doing everything that we can possibly do to um, you know, help them navigate this horrible incident. Um, but at the same time, um, I believe to really do the family's justice, you know, we need to consider all the circumstances that were sort of involved in this killing. John's mother suffered minor injuries while the Uber driver was unharmed. Uber released a statement saying their thoughts are with the family and they hope an arrest is made quickly. Outside Penn Presbyterian Hospital, Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News.